it's not too late, you know? We can go after Michael and Willow and- And, and say what? The truth. That we faked all this to try and shove them together. And, and yes, it was stupid and crazy, but, but they're the best thing that ever happened to us and we're so sorry. And, and yes, it will be awkward for a while and, and maybe we won't be able to hang out anymore, the four of us, but, but we would have the people we love back, Chase. That sounds amazing. It really does, and totally awesome for us, but what about Michael and Willow? Do you honestly think that they'd be happier with us or happier together with Wiley? Look, I can only speak to my side of it, right? The Willow side. And man, I fell in love with her about a minute after I saw her. She was sitting in her car in the hospital parking garage in full on tears, mind you. And I just couldn't stop staring. Get away from my car, freak. Look, I'm not gonna ask you again. Whoa, whoa, lady, lady, I'm a cop. Lady, I'm a cop. If you're a cop, where's your uniform? I'm a detective. Oh, okay. Listen, Sherlock, either you make tracks or I will right over you. Okay, look, here's my shield. All right? My shield? Who do you think you are, Captain America? And all the time that we spent together, never, not once, did that woman walk into a room and not take my breath away. Why was Willow in tears? She was crying over the baby that she'd given up. And I didn't know it at the time, but it's kind of fitting that that's how we met. As deeply as we loved each other, the entire time that I knew Willow, her heart was with that child. By the time Willow realized that Wiley wasn't her son, that her baby actually died, it didn't matter. No, not, not that it didn't matter, but- I know. What you mean? Willow had already come to love Wiley, to think of him as her own. She could be happy without him, I think. Not physically being his, his mother, but if Wiley was ever hurting or suffering in any way, and it was within her power to stop it, I don't think she could live with that. So for me, the best way that I can love her, and I do, was to tell this lie and let her go. Okay. But Chase, what if you're wrong? Are we basically playing God? Deciding that Michael and Willow should get together and raise Wiley. Deciding what they couldn't figure out themselves, so we had to do it. I thought we agreed. No, we, we did. I'm, I was 100% a willing participant, if not the instigator. I just... Now that we've actually done it. I know. What if Michael and Willow blame each other? Or end up hating each other? Or some other terrible thing happen that make this not work out? Michael is my closest friend in Port Charles, but you're the one that's in love with him. Do you really think that that's a possibility? You know what I think? I think that they're gonna get married because that's what Wiley needs. I think that they will do their very best to be kind and supportive for the sake of that child. And I think that before Wiley's third birthday, maybe even sooner, Willow will be madly in love with Michael. And she will be the happiest woman on the face of the earth. 